any transportation happens outside the premises we call it as carriage outward whatever percentage they have given multiply whatever percentage they have given divide by 100 minus the percentage actual given plant and office furniture plant means what machineries A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 6 of your topic called Cost Accounting and Unit 2 of Cost Sheet. Now, I know Cost Sheet, as you know that we have completed almost 3 to 4 problems in Cost Sheet. And we are doing one more problem in today's session. In today's session, again, we have taken question paper problem itself. Along with that, we have some extra adjustment for this problem. So step by step, we are learning your cost sheet. By the end of this topic or this unit, you will be exporting cost sheet. Now, as I told you in your whole syllabus, it is completely easiest one, but in that easy, little difficult or compared to that easiest one, is your cost sheet. Other than cost sheet, once we done with your cost sheet means your major hurdle is done. Rest of the things are very easy and one or two problems if I work out you will understand better and you can do any number of problems with that concept. Now, so we'll go for the today's session. The agenda is problems on cost sheet. Now, so the following Data has been extracted from the books of Krishna Industry Limited for the year ended 2008. Now, so particular and rupees, opening stock of raw material, purchase of raw material, closing stock, carriage inward, direct, indirect, other direct charges, rent and rates, indirect material, depreciation of plant and furniture. You know that every problem what we used to do, we used to categorize 1, 2, 3, 4. What is 1? 1 stands for 1 stands for direct, nothing but prime cost. 2 stands for factory. 3 stands for office. 4 stands for selling and distribution. Direct, factory, office, selling and distribution. These are the 4 things we have like. Opening stock of raw material, it is 1 lakh. Purchase of raw material, closing stock of raw material, carriage inward and wages. Wages we have direct as well as indirect. Now, we'll go one by one. Please keep that cost sheet format with you so that by reading one by one you must know that it will come under one two three four you must know that it comes under which category now opening stock of raw material will come for one if you find the word called raw material always goes for one next purchase of raw material goes for one Closing stock of raw material, again it will go for 1, but it must be what? Minus. Under 1, it will be minus. Opening stock plus purchase minus closing stock. Add carriage inward, again it is 1. Wages like direct wages and indirect wages. Direct wages comes for 1. Indirect wages comes for to hope you are clear, direct wages comes for 1, indirect wages comes for 2. Then other direct charges, 1, rent and rates like factory and office. Rent of factory comes under 2, rent of office comes under 3. Now see, compared to your first problem, now we are in the third or fourth problem, you are more familiar with this. Words. By reading this, you can identify whether it goes to 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear? Yes. Then indirect material, it will go to 2. Depreciation, there is a plant and office furniture. Plant means what? Machinery is. So plant will come under 2. Office furniture comes for 3. Office and 
expenses office expenses then we'll go for other factory expenses factory expenses comes under will all the factory will go for two office expenses will go for three management expenses three management belongs to what office then selling expenses all selling related comes under selling and distribution your last category so it will go to four traveling expenses of salesman salesman comes under what selling and distribution so it will go to what four carriage outward as i told you any transportation happens within the premises we call it as carriage inward any transportation happens outside the premises we call it as carriage outward now carriage outward means it is outside the premises like manufacturer to wholesaler manufacturer to retailer all this we call it as your carriage outward now advertisement carriage outward comes under what four advertisement advertisement comes under what yes advertisement also related to sales sales in the sense it will come under four now clear so we have categorized which comes under one two three as well as four now along with this we have some additional information we'll see what are those additional information management expenses should be allocated in the ratio of two is to one is to two see wherever we have management expenses we thought that it is a it comes under three so after making the category just come back to your adjustment adjustment any additional information are given as per the additional information we have to follow now management expenses two is to one is to one means it will go to three also it will go to two also it will go to one also all three category belongs to management now factory office and sales division fact profit is calculated 25% on the sales see every problem they used to give cost of sales selling price have they given anywhere where is the selling price no if you know the selling price like selling price minus your cost you used to get profit but in this selling price not given cost we need to find out so profit we are supposed to find out that is a extra thing or new thing we are we will learn in today's session even the selling price is not given how to find out we'll look into that from the above information your step 1 prime cost step 2 work cost work means remember factory cost of production office cost of sales your selling and distribution your final answer is nothing but your net profit hope you are clear as yes. i'll go back to your question please take screenshot without i go to answer try to work out on your own later you can cross verify with the actual answer there is a first part of your question second part of your question yeah we'll come back for the answer solution now as per this what we are supposed to do like direct material we have 1 lakh opening stock we have add purchases and carriage inward we added minus closing stock after deducting your closing stock what is the answer 3 lakh 40 minus your closing stock then 280 plus 40 all put together it is 6 lakh 60000 3 lakh 40 yes yeah so this is your first step we done with your prime cost whatever the 15 marks or 10 mark question the marks will be allocated on the basis of they will check what is the answer of prime cost 6 lakh 60 in your answer sheet also same thing you will get marks like that your marks will be bifurcated then after prime cost c go for work overhead under work order what happens like your indirect wages yes factory rent and rates yes indirect material yes depreciation on plant yes and other factory expenses yes then your management expenses as i told you 2 is to 2 is to 1 rs what is the ratio 
टू इज टू वन इज टू टू सो टू प्लस वन थ्री थ्री प्लस टू फाइव सो लाइक टू बाई फाइव ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड सो दैव डी वर्क सॉलिड इनडायरेक्ट वेजेस फैक्ट्री इनडायरेक्ट डिप्रिशिएशन अदर फैक्ट्री मैनेजमेंट ऑल पुट टूगेदर योर फैक्ट्री सो इट इज डन वन लैख थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड देन आफ्टर दिस वी हैव वर्क कॉस्ट इट इज सेवन लैख नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड वी डन विद दिस नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विल बी योर ऑफिस एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एक्सपेंसिस सो एंड ऑफिस एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन already we have done category and we bifurcated we'll see which are your office and administration expenses like office rent and rates depreciation other office expenses management expenses management expenses what is the calculation as you know 2 is to 1 is to 2 so it will be 1 by 5 now So do calculation. You will get some total twenty thousand eight hundred eight lakh sixty. Here I have done step by step, but in your examination, whole answer in the same row. Like there is a first prime cost continuation. You have to do. You cannot break it out. Here I don't have space. That's why I have done done bifurcation. After prime cost, do continuation. Do work over it. After this, do continuation. Do your office and administration overhead. After office and administration, again continuation. Your selling and distribution overhead. Under selling and distribution overhead, we have this twenty four thousand management expenses, other selling expenses, traveling expenses, carriage inward. All put together, add. You will get some eight lakhs. Including your previous answer, you will get eight lakh sixty-two. How come it is eight lakh sixty-two? Your total is forty-six thousand. See your previous one, eight lakh sixteen plus forty-six. Your answer is eight lakh sixty-two eight hundred. Now, eight lakh eighty-seven six hundred. Your final answer will be eleven lakh fifty thousand four hundred. All put together, your answer is how much? Your answer is eleven lakh fifty four hundred. Hope you are clear. Yes, this we call it as your total cost. Your cost of sales is how much? Eight lakh sixty two something is your cost of sales, and your selling price we are supposed to find out. Your profit also you are supposed to find out. How to find out your profit? I'll show you. See. These are the calculation we have. There is a working note for two is to one is to two five. This is done, and this is a calculation for your profit. We have done some big calculation for profit. Why? Because in the question they have mentioned that twenty five percent on the sales. Do you know the sales? No, I don't know what is my sales. Now, how to do this calculation? See, now, just assume that you got eight lakh sixty to eight hundred. This is your cost. This is your cost. Now we are supposed to find out what profit and your sales. Do you know what is your sales? No. Do you know what is your profit? No. Still, we are supposed to find out cost. How to find out your cost? Simple. In next slide, you have so many calculation. If you are biased or if you have any confusion with this calculation, I'll give you simple logic. I'll give you simple logic how to find out. Now, don't go with those calculation and all. I'll give you simple logic now. In this, you know the cost. You don't know the profit. You don't know the sales. But I have given percentage twenty five percent of sales means if this is twenty five, sales always hundred. So in this, what happened on this twenty five percent? On this twenty five percent means this will be hundred minus twenty five. I'll write it here: hundred minus twenty five. How much it is? Seventy five. 
एट लैक्स सिक्सटी टू एट हंड्रेड इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय सेवेंटी फाइव नाउ डू द कैलकुलेशन आई यूज आई टेक द हेल्प ऑफ कैलकुलेटर सेवेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइड बाय सेवेंटी I got two lakh eighty seven six hundred. Two lakh eighty seven six hundred. If you add, it will be eleven lakh fifty thousand four hundred. Simple calculation. So, whenever they will ask you twenty five percent on sales, from hundred you minus twenty five, it will become seventy five. Your answer into twenty five divided by seventy five. In case in the question paper they have given thirty percent on sales, how do you calculate? Simple, eight lakh sixty two eight hundred into thirty divided by hundred minus thirty is how much? Seventy. Hope you got it. Again, I'll give you one more example. In case they have given forty percent of the sales, how do you take eight lakh sixty two eight hundred into Forty divided by hundred minus forty. How much? Hundred minus forty. It will be how much? Sixty. Like this, you are supposed to take whatever percentage they have given. Multiply whatever percentage they have given. Divide by hundred minus the percentage actual given. So if you do that calculation, you will get cost also. You will get your profit also. Now, so this calculation not required because refer. Previous slide. There I have given shortcut. So if you want, you can go for this calculation also. It will give the same answer. But uh, if you want shortcut, you can go for that one. In your examination, detailed calculation not required. Whatever I showed here, this much calculation is sufficient. Clear? How come you got seventy five hundred minus twenty? So this is all about your today's session. I'll go back to your previous slides so that you can take screenshot. This is your question. Continuation. Your answer. Continuation of your answer. Continuation of your answer. Again, continuation. Continuation. This is optional if you want. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So today's what we did is your question paper problem. Again, and I am repeating whatever problems we do on this screen are on your uh, classes. That is more than sufficient for your examination. Any extra reference or extra reading is not required. Thank you.